Let's get started. For this workout, you want a light kettlebell, about 15 pounds, a block, and wedges. I'm gonna use the wedges to get deeper into my goblet squat. If you already have a deep squat, you don't need them. And if you don't have wedges, but want to use a heel elevation, you can roll up a mat and put that under your heels. Let's pick up the kettlebell. Holding it by the sides of the handles with the bottom up. Bring it to your ear, the bottom is facing back, and you're gonna chop down to the outside of your opposite thigh. Let's go 10 times. Exhale. Accent down. Accent down, stop. Three more. And then the other side at the ear and down. Getting the obliques working, warmed up. Two more. Now let's go into the goblet squat. Either feet on the floor or on the elevation. This will enable me to get all the way down into a squat, holding the kettlebell now with the bottom down and just send it away from you a few inches. Your knees are gonna come forward. If your heels are elevated, keep your trunk upright all the way down and stand. Again, lower slowly. Let's go five more. Keep the arms close to the body, engaging your lats. Three more. Last one here. Great. Let's go into a single arm press. Bring the handle into your palm so it's on a diagonal, deep in the palm. You don't want it here with your wrist cranked back. You want your wrist straight, handle on a diagonal, and then you're gonna bring the bell and your hand to your chest. And this should be very comfortable. This is your rack position. So from here, keep your legs straight and you're just gonna press straight up, stacking your bones at the top overhead position and back to the rack. Press and down. Three, five more. Try to keep your legs straight with this so you're just using your arm. That's a strict press. Good. All right, let's set that up on the other side. Slip your hand through, the handle's on a diagonal deep in the palm, wrist is straight, and then you can bring the hand to your chest, and from there, press straight up. Three more. Last one. Done. Let's go into a high pull series. So since this is a short bell, I'm gonna lift the floor up to me by using the block. I'm gonna put the bell on the block and stand over it. Taking the handles in hand, shoulders down away from your ears, you're going to forcefully straighten your legs as if you're jumping. And the bell 
going to come up to your chest, elbows right and left. That's your high pull. Let's give it a try. And then slowly down. So the accent is to go up. Let's go for eight. Ready? Push the legs down. Up one. Take your time to descend. If you have long arms or you're using a taller, larger bell, you probably won't need the block. Exhale. Three more. Now one hand, let's do a single arm high pull for four. Four, same way. Change sides for four. Now you're gonna do one high pull, change hands at the top, touch down and then back to the other side four each way changing hands at the top let's begin push the legs down up take it one push the legs one more that's it good so the arms are moving, but it's really the leg power, the leg drive that's doing the work. So this is more of a leg exercise than an arm exercise. And the more you drive your legs into the floor, the lighter that weight will be. So at some point, you're gonna be able to go much heavier. Let's go with a single arm row. So take the side that has the kettlebell, that leg will be back. Send your hips back, big hip hinge. We want our hips back to counteract the weight in front of you. If you don't have your hips back, then you might feel it in your low back muscles, which you don't want. You can place your hand or your forearm on the front thigh, or you can use a chair and put your hand on the seat of a chair. So let's go for 12 rows to your hip. Pull it back, head is long. Pull, think of one long line from the bottom of your tail to the top of your head. Pull. Pull. Three more. Yes, other side. Get your position first. Make sure your butt is out, leaning on your leg or a chair. And let's pull. You're getting biceps here. You're getting middle back traps and rhomboids. You're also getting a lot of stability through your trunk. The entire trunk is stabilizing here. Three more. And one. Good, just come to standing. You're gonna pass the handle of the bell back and forth, right to left. While you do that, shift your weight onto one leg, just touch the toe of the other foot. And then if and when you're ready, let's lift that foot and balance. Now, later in the series, we're gonna take this kettlebell all the way around the body. But for now, just to get used to it, let's just do a half circle. One more. Okay, keep the kettlebell moving. And we're gonna go on to the other leg. Just start by touching the toe. Get your weight shifted on that leg. And then when you're ready, lift the foot. Keep your eyes steady on one spot in front of you. Two more.
That's right. Okay, let's go into a forearm plank. We're gonna hold for 30 seconds. So come to the floor. Come into your forearm plank. Holding for 30 seconds. Now, if you can do this very easily, then hold one leg up for 15 seconds and I'll tell you when to switch. Okay, get your plank and let's begin. I'm gonna lift one leg. Breathing. That's halfway, change legs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Okay, come on up, let's go around again. Kettlebell bottom up. This time we're gonna start with the kettlebell low, pointing down toward the floor, and you're gonna accent up to the ear, slowly down. The reverse of what we did the first set. Okay, for 10. Here we go, accent up. Accent up, like you're gonna throw it over your shoulder. Feels good on the back. One more and on the abs. Good. Other side. Ready? Up. Three more. That's it. Let's go back to the squat. Bottom faces down. Push the bell away from you a little bit. And let's go into your squat for eight. Take your time to descend. Mostly quads here. Three more. Last one. Done. Okay, let's find that rack position again for the presses. So at no time do you want the kettlebell here or here. Your wrist is neutral, hand at the chest, and let's begin. Legs straight, just the arm is working. And you're getting a lot of the oblique on the other side when you do single arm presses like this or single arm work. Two more, stack your bones here. That's it, changing sides. And begin. Last two. Good. All right, if you want the block for the kettlebell, use it. Otherwise, you can touch the floor. Let's go back to eight high poles with two arms, four single, and then four with changes at the top. So you're standing right over the bell. Remember to drive your legs into the ground. 
Let's begin. Accent is up. One more. Now single arm. Let's change at the top here. Other side. Four. And let's change each one. 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 Three. One more. Good. That gets the heart rate up a little bit. Nice. Let's go into a single arm row for 12 each side. Okay, set it up properly. Hips are out. And let's pull. Two. Pull. Last three. Last one. Yes. Other side. And pull. Pull. This is seven, eight, four more. Two, one. Yes. Let's go back to passing the bell, hand to hand. Shift your weight to one leg and just touch the toe, get ready, and let's balance. That standing leg is not locked out. The knee is just soft. Just keep it soft. That's the best way to balance. Foot wiggles, a lot of stability through your calves, your anterior tibialis in the front of the leg, and your foot. Let's go one more each way. Good, and then shift your weight to the other leg. Touch the toe, and when you're ready, let's lift. Pass. Let's go three more. One more, done. For our last plank, let's go 40 seconds. And I'm gonna lift a leg for 20 and then 20 on the other side. Okay, let's do it. Your version, if you wanna keep both feet down, that's absolutely fine. All right, forearms on the ground and three, two, Plank position, hold. Breathing. Shoulders right over your elbows. Five seconds, and then you can change if you have the leg up. All right, halfway, change. Three, two, and one, good. Just sit back with your knees wide. Sit your butt to your heels, reach your arms out. If you wanna use the block for your head, just get a spinal stretch.
All right, and push yourself up. Awesome job. I'll see you at the next one.